Darla could have died. She almost lost her life. This is what we are being told. Darla could have died. We hear that a lot. And I agree. She could have died. She could have very well died if the ambulance got lost on the way to the house or nobody came to pick her up. If she didn't get to bail her, she could have died. By the time she got there, the bleeding had stopped. I would ask, what could she have died of? Based on the wounds that she had. You know, you, she could have been asleep on that couch and a ceiling fan could have fell on her too. So, what I'm doing is, this word superficial, okay? <laughs> Why is he so stuck on that word superficial? Well, because I was told it wasn't said. That's the first thing. I was told it wasn't said. It was never described that way. And then in the medical reports, we find that it was said. And then I was told it had a different definition. Now, superficial could mean on the surface. It does mean on the surface, which is the opposite of deep. Okay? A deep wound is serious. A superficial wound is minor. It can be somewhat used directionally. I'll give her about 30% that it can be somewhat used directionally. Uh, the skin is superficial to the muscle. You could say that. But we're going to look at what Dr. Santos actually said. Now, Darley could have died if this right here would have happened. If her wounds penetrated the surface and weren't superficial wounds, but were deep penetrating wounds, if you have a deep penetrating wound to your neck, your survival rate <laughs> is between 3 and 6%. So much blood. Veins being cut. A knife in your ear throat. If it was a penetrating neck wound, she would have died. If. Now, this word superficial that I'm seeing it just means a minor wound. I do know that superficial is, in medical terms, the opposite of deep. Danelle very well could say that it's superficial to this and that. But the way that this doctor says it, and I've been through a lot of medical stuff here lately, and boy, I've been into digging hard deep into the medical stuff, haven't I, honey? Because I've had a lot of stuff go on with me. But let's see exact document. I was told to dig deep into these, and I have read these before, but it's been a while. Okay. Dillon, Dillon and Santos, Baylor. Okay, indications. Miss Routier is a 26-year-old white female who presented to the emergency department early in the morning of June 6, 1996 with multiple stab wounds, which she reported to be due to an, an attack by an assailant. Of note, her two children were also injured. One child was pronounced dead at the scene, and the other child was taken to the Baylor Emergency Department and pronounced dead on arrival. She had lacerations to her shoulder and right forearm, which were deep, but did not appear to be close to any vital structures. She had an, she had an, she had an approximately nine centimeter laceration on her neck from the midline to the right, I'm not going to even attempt that, muscle, which was bleeding profusely. Okay? Let's see what time that was when he wrote that. I'll check the time on it later. Profusely is a, is a key word. On superficial exploration, 
Now, what they mean by superficial exploration here is that he's looking for things that are just above the skin at first. Yeah, you know, just right on the skin. Nothing deep. On superficial exploration, this clearly penetrated the platysma muscle. She was hemodynamically stable at the time and was taken to the operating room for emergent neck exploration, exploratory surgery, to see what's under the superficial wounds. After the induction of satisfactory general endotracheal <laughs> anesthesia, the patient was prepped and draped in a standard sterile manner in the supine position. Bleeding from the wound was temporarily controlled with, with digital pressure, and bleeding points on the platysma muscle and skin edges were electrocoagulated. Skin flaps were where the <laughs> created inferior. I don't know what that meant. Were, were the created inferiorly and superiorly in the electric? Yeah, they zapped it shut basically. Several venous bleeding points were overseen with 3.0 milk sutures, there was no apparent injury, injury to the internal jugular vein, the carotid artery that we were told was actually next. Okay, let me come back to this. The carotid sheath was not penetrated. I always thought the carotid sheath had been nicked, but it is actually the, it's called the platymus. The wound was, for the most part, superficial to the strap muscles. And she did say that he was saying, well, no, it was superficial to the strap muscles. What does it mean on top of? Okay. I don't know what that other one is. At one point... The laceration appeared to extend to, but not through the carotid sheath. Okay, that's why that's a misconception. Over the carotid artery, no significant arterial bleeding was noted. The wound was superficial to the trachea and esophagus. These. Okay, so I'm going to give her a little bit of credit. The way he is describing as as directional, but minimal at the same time. But had she had deep stag wounds that she would almost would have died by, <laughs> that word superficial wouldn't be in there at all. It'd be deep wounds. So it looks like that word could mean directional, but the, just the significance of the word alone means a minimal injury, and that they, they, you know, they keep saying that she almost died and she could have died, and she wasn't nowhere near close to death. So that's where I'm at with it. Okay, so this word superficial, <laughs> I'm triggered by it. It, because I've been doing my research, and I'll give Danielle a little bit of credit. That, you know, Doctor Santos does describe the the word super, superficial in that medical report. He could have meant directional. He could have meant like where it was. But, you know, the, the thing, and she said, well, they say one thing in the reports and something different on a stand. Well, under these videos where I put about the superficial, they describe superficial as what it, what it is, a minor wound. <laughs> and, but it can be described as, you can 
you can say the uh, rib cage is super superficial to the the lung. She said the medical records were different than what was said on the stand. She said the word superficial wasn't even used. Uh, and then, you know, when it was used, it was used to describe directional or uh, where the wound was. Or where, yeah, the wound was. I'll give her that. But she can't tell me I'm wrong when superficial also means minimal. It's not used in terms of direction in the medical field as much as it is used in terms of describing the nature of the wound. Well, how bad was it? Well, it was superficial. Well, how bad was it? It was deep. It was pretty bad. It was a gash. So those wounds were superficial, and this is uh, Dr. Dillon. Dillon, that was in the surgery with uh, Dr. Uh, Assistant Lee, I believe, and Dr. Santos. And you can see exactly what he said and exactly what how he and they meant it. Also, uh, they wanted to stop the bleeding from the little bit of uh, vessels, the small vessels that were bleeding. She had one that was profuse. Uh... So the best way to control that is to take her into the operating right, right, take her into the operating room and do some exploratory surgery. Bye bye, rush to emergency surgery. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye, emergency surgery. Exploratory surgery is good so they can go in and look and see if there's anything else wrong that's bad. And that's exactly what he says here. Suture. She did get a lot of stitch, uh, stitches, though. These doctors are describing super. This doctor is describing in this. Okay, what do you mean by a superficial wound? Not a superficial direction, a superficial wound. Not this is superficial to that. He's being asked what this doctor is being asked. What do you mean by a superficial wound? So superficial wounds do exist. When they say superficial, they're not always meaning direction. They're talking about this superficial wound. What I'm, I'm from the doctor who had his hands on Darley. I mean by a superficial wound that it did not penetrate any of the deeper su structures. Mild, not very bad. You'd call a deep wound a would penetrate the muscles. She had one deep wound, and the rest were superficial. They were superficial, like I said. Do I sound ridiculous now? Are we entertained? Let's read on. The wound on her shoulder overlie the top of her humerus. Now you see how this doctor is describing the direction and the position of one wound, the wound in, in, in the two different parts of the body. He's describing it here, right? He didn't say the wound is superficial to her shoulder. He didn't say uh, her, there was a superficial wound, you know, the humerus was superficial to the soul, the shoulder. He's describing exactly where they are. The wound on her shoulder overlied the top of her humerus bone. He didn't say it was super, superficial, see? And 
it was also a superficial wound. This, what I'm coming up with, is a far cry from it was never said. And you need to read the medical testimony, the medical report. So now I'm going to look for Dr. Dillon's report and compare it to the testimony. Maybe this doctor's insane. Maybe he drinks too much. Maybe he's sleeping with somebody else's doctor, his wife. But what he says right here is those wounds were minimal. Let's, let's go down a little bit like this. Now, there's a deep wound. And was there another wound on her right arm? There was a wound on her right arm on the what we call the dorsal aspect. He didn't say it was superficial to the dorsal aspect. He said it was on the dorsal aspect. About right here. It was approximately one inch long. Now, he says it was also superficial. I'm surprised by that. It was down to the bone at that point, but the bone, but the bone at that point is very superficial in the arm. Superficial, fatty. <laughs> the bone is superficial to the arm. And these, these wounds did not approach any dangerous structures. Okay. I'm going to get a shirt that says, this is what superficial means. Talk about how they clean them up, close them up. The, it is to the bone. It's not very far. No fracture in that bone. Uh, 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 uh. So, we see another wound here, just above that wound. Was that also present? Yes, it was. That was simply a superficial abrasion. Well, what direction? What was that superficial to? You know, God love you. The wounds were minimal. She was nowhere near death. This weekend and following, I would be taking what Danelle's saying, posting it with me, and responding to it with, you can hear what she's saying. Be well. Justice for... Devin and Damon.